Have you ever heard of the angel of death of Auschwitz? Now it's time for the hyena of Auschwitz, Irma Greece. Ladies and gentlemen of all ages, boys and girls, thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of Angry Meat Production. We appreciate you coming in and letting us be a part of your lives week in and week out. We hope to do our best to present you with something that your eardrums delight in. Whether you're looking at us on YouTube or Rumble or listening to us on Spotify, Google, or Anchor, or any of the other podcast services that we are currently on or trying to get on. We thank you. And if you don't mind, at the end of every episode, stop by, leave us a comment, leave us a like. If it asks for five stars, we'll take five stars, even if you don't like us. Five stars are what it's all about. With that being said, we hope you enjoy our attempt to make our advocation, our vocation. Ladies and gentlemen, let the games begin. Welcome, angry, faithful. Today on Psycho Social Bass, yes, we're going to go over the hyena of Auschwitz, uh, Irma Grease. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's kind of a weird story going into this. Uh, so let's begin. And this is going to have a lot of German stuff in it, so I'm just going to go with Irma Gries. Uh Irma Grease was born in uh, Bertha uh, Geese and Alfred uh, Grease. Grease? Is it Grease? It's like Grease. 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 Hold on. Grease. Yeah, Grease. Uh, both uh, dairy workers on... Uh, 7th of October, 1923. Irma was the third of five children, three boys, uh, three girls and two boys. In 1936, her mother committed suicide by drinking uh, hydrochloric acid. Uh, following the discovery of Alfred's affair, the father, uh, with a local pub owner's daughter. Historians Peter uh, Vrosky speculates that Alfred Grease joined the Nazi party in 1937 and remarried in 1939. Irma's sister Helena said that Irma's trial that uh, that in preschool, uh, she said this at the trial, uh, that during in preschool she was uh, girls were quarreling and fighting. Irma never uh, had the courage to fight, but ran away. In 1938, at the age of 15, Greece left school, and she started working uh, on a farm for six months, then in a shop, then at a hospital ran by the SS. And the SS are the Nazi SS. Yes, that's right. Uh, for two years, uh, she became a co uh, concentration uh, cart. Uh, concentration camp guard by the age of 19. Uh, Greece, like her sisters, wanted to join the League of German Girls. And I'm going to butcher this name, but we're going to go ahead and... Uh, come on. Do, do, do. There we go. And speak and spell. Give me a... Stephen Hawking, help me out. Bon Deutscher Mädel. Bon Deutscher Mädel. Uh, which is basically the Hitler youth group for uh, girls. But her father forbade it, and she ended up doing it. Before her 17th birthday, uh, she moved to the uh, SS Female Helpers Training Base, which was located near uh, Ravensbrück, an all-female concentration camp. Uh, in 1940, she became uh, an F... What? F... Afowitz. No, hold on. Stephen Hawking. Officer Heeren. Officer or God or Overseer at Ravensbrook, uh, and transferred to Auschwitz, Brooklyn. We'll just say Auschwitz because I can't pronounce that other name. Uh, I'm keeping this fast. <laughs> In March 19, 
43. Due to her transfer, Greece uh, had a falling out with her father the same year, as he had been uh, bently opposed to her joining the SS Golfage, uh, which is basically a destination of a group of female c- uh, civilian employees uh, for the Nazi party. Uh, he explained her, uh, he expelled her from her ha- uh, from the house. Greece participated in pr- uh, prisoner selection to the gas chamber in Auschwitz. In early 1945, Greece uh, accompanied a prisoner at evacuation transportation uh, from Auschwitz to Ravenbrock. In March, she went uh, to Bergensbins along with a large number of prisoners from Ravenbrock. Greece was uh, captured by the British Army in uh, 17th of April 1945 with other SS personnel that did not flee. Now, on her war crimes at Auschwitz, it doesn't state in this article, but uh, from what it was reported on a couple of other websites, that uh, Greece was actually a mistress of... uh, God, I, I just pulled him up and it... My stuff up, updated. Uh, Joseph was uh, he She was a mistress of him. And she, well, let's just say she was a fucking whore. Uh, she, she ended up uh, having sex with a lot of other uh, Nazi Party SS members at the camp. And also, she also did, uh, she raped a couple of the uh, uh, male inmates and some of the female inmates. So, but she would end up put them in the gas chamber. Uh, it, basically, she she was doing her uh, guard job, but she was also she ended up uh, from one uh, one article stated that she kicked and beat a female inmate, and she would actually, from what they were saying, that she would choose uh, the prettier of the uh, Jewish uh, prisoners. Uh, to go into the cast chamber and die because she was jealous of them. Oh, that's just speculation. Uh, a lot of it we don't know. But uh, during the war crime trial, Greece was among the 45 people accused of war crimes at the uh, Belson trial, which was held in Luxburm, Lower Saxton. She was tried over the first period of the trials, uh, September 17th to uh, November 17th in 1945. And was uh, represented by Major L. Cranfield. The trials were conducted under British uh, martial law, based on the charges uh, delivered from the Geneva Convention in 1929 regarding the treatment of prisoners. The accusation accusations against her uh, centered on ill treatment and uh, murder of those uh, imprisoned at the camps. Survivors provided detailed testimonies of the cruelty. She also claimed that she had beaten some women using a paddle, paddled whip. What the hell is a paddled whip? Hold on. Let's see here. Let's see if I can copy this and get a picture of it. Oh, it's just a regular whip. And it's just the name of a whip. Well, plated, plated whip. Nice. Yeah, it's just a regular whip. Anyways, uh, so uh, she whip them with a whip. Under direct, uh, under direct uh, explanation, examination. Uh, under a direct uh, examination, uh, Irma Grease testified about her background. I was born... Uh, uh, 7th of October, 1923. Uh, in 1938, uh, I left the elementary school and worked for six months. And, uh, just stuff that we already uh, went over. And during the trial, the press label undergrew the beautiful beast alongside uh, former SS uh, Joseph Kramer, the beast of Belton. Uh The former uh, commandant at uh, Brooklyn. Uh, oh, hold on, let me get this word right. Stephen Hawking's? Bergnock. 
Birknock. After a nine-week trial, Geist was sentenced to death by hanging, although the charges against some of the other female uh, wardens, a total of 16 were charged, uh, were as serious uh, uh, as those against Geist, uh, Greece. She was one of the three women guards to be sentenced to death. Greece and two other concentra uh, concentration camp workers, Jonah Berlin, uh, Berlin Perman and Elizabeth Volkerith uh, were convicted, along with eight men, for crimes committed at the Auschwitz. Auschwitz, oh, you can do, I think I want to do a whole episode of Auschwitz, of what happened there. It, it was just a travesty of travesty. Uh, according to uh, Whitney L. Marie Sari, Sariti, the night before her execution, Greece sang Nazi songs until the, the early hours in the morning with Jonah Boardman. On December 13, 1945, in Helmand Prison, Greece uh, was led to the gallows. The women were executed individually by long drop hanging, and the men, uh, and then the men in pairs. Uh, Brid uh, British Army Regiment Sergeant Major Richard Anthony O'Neill assisted the executioner Albert. Uh, Pitter Point, Point, uh, Pitter Point. Uh, I, I, I want to do one over him too. There was actually a documentary movie about him. Well, it was a movie, and the character Albert Point, uh, Peter Point. It was pretty interesting. Uh, and this was uh stated. We climbed the stairs to the cells where the uh, condemned were waiting. A German officer at the door leading the con uh, con uh, corridor flung open the door, and we uh, filed past the rows of faces and into the execution chamber. The officer stood at attention. Uh, Bragger Peyton Walsh uh, stood at his wristwatch raised. He gave me the signal, and the signal release breath was audible in the chamber i walked into the corridor i'm a grease irma grease i called the german guard quickly closed all uh, grails on 12 of the inspection holes and opened one door irma Gress stepped out the cell was far too small for me to go inside and i had to uh pension her into the corridor follow me i said in english and o'neill repeated the order in german at 9.34 a.m., she walked into the execution chambers, gazed at uh, for a moment at the uh, uh, official standing around, and walked into the center of the trap, where I had made a chalk mark. She stood on this mark very firmly, and as I placed the white cap over her head, she said in her languid voice, I'm going to have to Stephen uh, quickly. The drop crashed down, and the doctor followed me into the pit, pronouncing her dead. After 20 minutes, the body was taken down and placed in the coffee, ready for burial. Now, uh, let me let me find some other stuff that uh, I thought. I'm, I'm just not going to get anything from that. Hold on, real quick, because I, I, I I did do some stuff there's there's books about her and and other thing uh other stuff let me see here let me see the disturbing story uh this one's coming from ati uh meet irma great uh greece the beautiful beast and one of nazi's most feared guards uh from her drain uh and this is by uh john kirk's uh and he writes, from the uh, deranged uh, Dr. Joseph Mengele uh, to the cruel propaganda minister of Joseph Goebbels, names of Al uh, Adolf Hitler's Nazi henchmen and henchwomen have become synonymous with evil. Oh, that's that's so beautiful. I mean, I mean, it sucks how, but it was actually beautiful written for the uh, first of this. And we'll get into, let me because uh this one this this article uh goes into detail what she actually did uh 
Okay. Uh, with so much authority, Emma Grace would unleash a toral of lethal sadism upon her prisoners. Though it was hard to verify the details of uh, Greece's abuse, and scholars like Wendy Lower pointed out that a, a lo uh, lot of wit has been uh, written about female Nazis is clouded in sexism and stereotypes. There is a there is little doubt that Greece deserved her nickname, the Hyena of Auschwitz. In the memoirs, Five Chimes. Uh, Okay. In the memoirs, Five Chines, actuate survivor Olga uh, Lingi uh, writes that Greece had many affairs with other Nazis, which are including Mangle. When it came time to select women for the gas junior, uh, Lingley noted that it, uh, Irma Greece would pr uh, purposely pick out beautiful female prisoners due to the jealousy and spite. According to Professor Wendy A. Strout's research, Greece had a sick fondness for striking women on their... Uh, okay, this is what confused me. Straight. Greece had a sick fondness for striking women on their breasts and for forcing Jewish girls to be her lookout as she raped inmates. As if there wasn't enough... Sturry reported that Greece would sick her dogs on prisoners, whip them constantly, and kick them with her hobnail jack boots. What's a hobnail? I, I got to look at these things. I'm going to describe these things. Let's see here. Copy. There we go. Because if I am thinking of. Oh, yeah, they're just. Yeah, they're just regular uh, thigh highs, boots. That puts out a weird image. Now, let's see here. But she would uh, kick them until they were bloody. The boots were bloody. La uh, lastly, the Jewish uh, virtual library wrote that Greece uh, had lampshades made of the skin of three dead prisoners, but none of them could actually be verified. But the Allies uh, loosened the Nazi stronghold on Europe. Greece went in to destroy people's lives during... Uh, uh, just from uh, Greece went from destroying people's lives to trying to save her own. In the spring of 1945, British arrested Greece. We already went over that. Uh, she was 22 at the time. Yeah, it's so weird that the... Uh, other stuff I was I have sometimes I have to like uh go on to the uh go on to like different sites and everything. This is from the Jewish virtual library. Uh more times go through here. Yeah, there's not much on here either. Uh but that's about it on her. I'm sorry this is going to be a short episode. I was trying to uh I was trying to make it long and I couldn't. But uh still uh weird case a lot of the um uh, time frame in World War II at Auschwitz that was possibly the worst of the worst of the camps. Uh because of who is there, uh, this person right here, Irma Grease and uh, Mangle, the Angel of Death. Uh, they did a lot of their exper uh, experiments there. Uh, another thing that uh, with those stupid idiots, the Holocaust deniers, uh, most of the evidence that we got from uh, how many Jewish people were killed which was 6 million uh, along with uh, homosexuals and uh, people that they just didn't agree with the Nazi party, which was fascism there. Uh, but a lot of the, a lot of the records that we got was from the Germans themselves. Uh, unlike uh, units, uh, unit 743, 
731, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, unit 731 from uh, Japan, which they destroyed all the documentation. Uh, we don't know how uh, – we, we have a little bit of uh, literature on that unit, uh, Unit 731, which is the Japanese version of uh, Auschwitz where they did a sick medical experimentation to uh, better understand uh, human physiologies and whatnot. But – uh, a lot of the stuff that we, I don't know, this is the sad note. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we learned from the documentations from Unit 731 and also from Auschwitz, uh, we, it's sad, sad to say that we actually advanced medical research because of those studies. Uh, it, it is very sad, and a lot of people don't know that. It was a horrible, horrible thing, and... I do not agree with any of the stuff, but uh, it it's just sometimes the way of the world. I, I wish we could stop that kind of stuff, and we still do human experimentation uh, with other people's knowledge, which is really sad, uh, which I, I've gone over a couple of them uh, that we we lessen it. There's, there's certain countries that still do it, and we can't help that because they are communist countries. I mean, the uh, Muslim community in China are being mutilated and destroyed in that country, and well, what's sad is is nobody's doing anything about it. Which I, w I wish there was a way to stop that type of stuff and we have photos that there are concentration camps in china with the uh, muslims community which it's i really wish humanity would grow up to the state where we can stop torturing people but uh there's part of human nature that we can't really stop i mean there's people that will do the good deed and stop the evil that is in this world but there is very few and more evil which uh, it, really, it really really does suck uh on that note sorry it's a dark note but uh hope everybody's doing all right because they're like i said I, I said this on a couple of episodes if you if you made it to the end thank you but uh, on a lot of the stuff, if if you if you need help and everything like that, and you're in a situation you don't think you can get out of, I'll be well more or less welcome to give you some advice as best as I possibly can as a human being, and hopefully you can get out of that situation. A lot of people don't know how to get out of that situation, unlike the people of Auschwitz and uh, Unit 731 and uh, a bunch of other things. They couldn't get out of these situations. But uh, sometimes there's there's things that you can get out of, and this is one of them. And I will be happy to help. Uh, drop a line on a uh, comment on one of the pages that we have. Uh, we got Twitter. We have Instagram. We have uh, Facebook, which I'm not really – doing that much on facebook that much i'm trying to keep it going but uh go out there and tell us whatever and we'll see if we can coordinate something to help you out i mean i'm stuck in texas but if there's a way to help somebody out i will try my best to help that person out thank you all for watching goodbye